So that was a quick but a bit more in-depth explanation of how the bypass diodes operate in your panel, what they do for you and what you can expect depending on what kind of shading or malfunction you get in your panel. Uh, now let's go online and I want to show you how you can recognize, so if you're shopping for a specific photovoltaic module, I want to show you how you can see whether that module has bypass diodes and, and how many. So I want to go to the website of canadiansolar.com, csisolar.com, um, I am not affiliated with Canadian Solar. Let's go to their products and solutions sections and select modules. And then it doesn't really matter which one. Let's assume we're going for a, an all black photovoltaic module, a 60 cell. So let's scroll down. Here we are, 60 cell, all black. All right, and then we want to download. We go here. Here you go, the 60 cell monocell 320, 340 watts. So let's download the specification sheet. And here we are. So let's, let's assume that we're interested in this module. And we want to know whether it has uh, bypass diodes and how many bypass diodes it has. It is not that complicated because you scroll down and you go to the section. It depends which manufacturer you're dealing with, right? All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. But for this manufacturer, it says it on the second page of the specification sheet in the section of mechanical data. And you're looking for, it's normally expressed in a section on the junction box. So here on the junction box or J box, it says that it has th three bypass diodes. Uh, so it doesn't tell us exactly what the internal wiring looks like, but it's safe to assume that if it's a 60 cell module and it has uh, three bypass diodes that is configured in the way as we just looked at before. So there you go, that's a pretty easy and straightforward way in which you can quickly check whether the module that you are looking at has uh, bypass diodes and how many. 